Hi and welcome to today's YouTube clip with challenges from French and DT, messages from some of your staff and some of our brilliant art project work. We just thought we'd say hi and make sure everyone's looking after each other. Please make sure to check on your friends and family, especially those people who are living alone at this time. We hope to see you all soon and Year 11, please don't worry, your hoodies are in hand and we will get you them as soon as possible. Stay safe everyone, take care. Time for another challenge. Hi everyone, um, we've been off for second week now so I thought it might be nice for us to do a little bit of um, other things other than cooking. Um, so I want to show you a very quick skill today and it's learning how to crochet. So come and have a look over here and um, I've got a book here um, you can get all sorts of information and it takes you through some basics. This is some information on yarns takes you through um, how to look after things that you make, colours, let me flick through a bit and then it takes you as you can see into basic stitches. So the tools that you need, I've got three crochet hooks and if you look closely they're all different sizes and they have a number on them. So this one's a number two size, this is a three millimetre size and I've got one over here, which is a six. So they all, all the little hooks on the end all start to get bigger as the number grows. So the only other thing that you'll need are maybe a pair of scissors, might need a needle, and then different balls of wool. So I, I've got a few here um, because I'm doing a, a little project at the minute, but um, I'll tell you more about those in a second. So. To get started then, the very first thing you need to do is to take some yarn or some wool and you need to make a slip knot. So to do that, if you watch carefully, just wrap the yarn around, pull through like so and it almost makes a letter A, capital A. You see that? And then just pop your hook through and pull. Now if you can't do that, don't worry. Um, you can just tie a little knot and then slip it onto the hook. So, uh, you need to know how to hold the yarn, so wrap it round a little finger. I'm not an expert, but some people, um, they have their own little knack. This is the way I do it. So in order to get tension, just wrap it round your finger and then away we go. So I'm holding the ball of wool in my left hand and I'm holding that short piece and the hook in my right hand. So wrap it round and then you go around and pull off. Yeah, have a close look. So you go round from the back to the front and just pull off. So this is the first thing that you're doing is making a chain like this. So round and then off, round and off. And as you can see, the hook holds the thread or the yarn just underneath. Okay, so round, slide it down, and it, it's basically taking the back stitch over the front, like that. Okay, so there's just a few, and once you get confident, you can just speed up. Like that and you end up with a chain. Now that chain 
Um, you can count the stitches as you do it, but that chain forms the basis of everything you're going to do. So once you've actually got however many stitches you want, the next thing you need to do is start to do a row. Or sometimes you can, if you're making something like a hat, you can start with a round. But I'll show you how to do this. So once we've got the chain, just do another little chain there. Don't worry if it comes off. And then the next thing you need to do is start to go back. So you place the hook through the second hole. Take it round. Pull through, that leaves you with two stitches. Take it round and take off the two. Let me show you that one again because this is quite tricky to start with. So here we go. Take the hook, pop, can you see that hole there? Pop it through, that's one of our chains. And then wrap the wool around, take it off like so. Oops. Okay, so you've got two stitches on, take it round, first one off, take it round, take two off. Now this is called a, a double crochet. There's lots of different stitches, but this is called a double crochet. So here we go again, put the hook in the next hole, take your yarn around, take it off, Round, take the first one off, round, take the, the two off. Okay. Let me show you with a different colour because I've done a little bit more over here. So this one is, as you can see, it's 35 chains, 35 stitches, and then I've just started to do a row. So just like we've done before, take the hook, pop it through the hole, Take the yarn around, take it off, round, take the first one, round, two. Let's go again, into the next hole, force the hook through, round, take the first one off, round, take both off. Do some more for you, here we go, do it nice and slow. Take the first one off, take two off. In, take the first one off. Let's get some yarn off here. Here we go. Take the first one off, round, take both off. Now we're getting close to the end here, so I'm gonna show you how to finish that. Take the first one off, take the two off. So here we are at the end, and it's very simple. Once you get to the end, stop, turn it round. So there's my first row. And then do a single chain round and off. And then, can you see that hole there? Put the needle through or the hook through. Pull the yarn through, round, take the first one off, round, take two off. Again, there's the hole, in, round, take the first one off, round, take the two off. And you just keep going like that. And every time you get to the end, always start with a chain and then go into the second hole. So can you see the way the second row is starting to form there? Now that's the basics of crochet. Once you've been practicing for a while, um, you can do all sorts of things. So you can get fancy stitches. That's double crochet stitch. Um, we're trying to save the environment at the minute, aren't we? So because I'm a little bit bored, I've been making these. And this is made with um, a cotton. So this yarn here is just a 100% cotton, which is very absorbent. And I've been making these. So what I've just shown you there, if you do a few rows, that's 40 chains by about... 30 to 40 rows and they make great dishcloths, really good for the environment so you're not wasting anything and you can use them to wipe all your tables. So there's um, different colours, 
to make nice little dishcloths. Here's something with a, a much finer yarn. Look at this one. This is another cotton yarn, but look at the, the um, thickness of that. Really narrow. So I would use uh, this sort of hook, a nice fine hook like that. That's a number two. And this stitch here, if you can make that out, that's an open shell stitch. So there's lots of different names. And as you get more confident, you can start to build them up. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to crochet. Send me some photos uh, on uh, my email and uh, I look forward to seeing what you can do. Bye for now. Stay safe. Thank you for watching everyone. Remember to stay home, stay safe, protect the NHS and save lives. Thank you.